Well, hello everyone. How are you guys doing? Labor Day. Can you believe it? It has come and gone, y'all. I'm just noticing I'm all whoopy jawed. <clears throat> it's been a wonderful Labor Day weekend with my kiddos. And let's see what's beeping at me. I need to turn down my volume. Oh, I'm afraid to. I'm afraid it'll mess up my volume here. Okay, let's see. Just double checking all the things. Making sure my audio is what it needs to be. That looks good. And I think we may be good to start. So listen, as you join me, please grant StreamYard permission to display your name so I can see that we're talking and all those things. Let me see if I can even pull it up. I've got my phone charging. But let's see here. That way, if there's a glitch at all, I've got this as backup. Get in there. Hopefully, it will pull me right up. So, listen, what have you guys been doing? How has your Labor Day been? Tell me what you've been doing today. My kids came in for the weekend. They left this morning. So, the rest of the day, I did teach um, in my private workshop this afternoon. We started our first project of the month. And let's see here. Where's my life? There I am. Um, Woo, don't, damn, I always work. forget. Whoops, cancel. I hit the accident emergency Workshop. thing. There's exactly. Tabitha. How are you, Tabitha? There's Bethan. How are you? You guys, I am so thankful and glad you are here as always. Y'all just bless me. All right, let me see if I can keep my phone on charge and then put it here, and that way I can see your comments. Okay, listen. I've got a pretty neat project. Pert neat. Let me get my little camera in position. I've worked so hard to get this right. And let's do this right here. Y'all, I have a friend that pops in here with me on occasion. Tap it. This is I finally did my first. Oh, congratulations. That is awesome. So wonderful. Hey, Doreen. It's so good to see you. You guys, Baxter is, I don't know what he hears, something outside. I don't know. So if you hear him bark, I mean, all the blinds are closed. It's dark outside. He can't see anything, but he's hearing something. So y'all just, I apologize. So thank you for painting the blessings, Tabitha. Thank you so much. Okay, you guys, this is what I have in mind for my project. And let me see if I can get this little camera where it won't be right in my face. Uh, but it will be where you can see what's going on. Because I know the other night it was kind of right all in my face. And someone made a comment, what's the black spot on the screen? I'm like, it's my camera. I'm so sorry. Okay. So what I did is I went on, I use Canva for a lot of my graphics and a lot of my uh, project references. And so I went on Canva and I really wanted this wavy flag look. And I found this picture and printed it and then I want to put Kentucky, the outline of Kentucky on it and the outline of Alabama so I printed those out on there too but I'm going to kind of move those around those are not going to stay just like that so I'm not going to trace this I'm going to use this as a reference and sketch out what I want to do with this so it's going to kind of be something like this but it's also going to be my own thing as well hey Laurie thank you girl for painting the blessings you guys, that makes such an amazing difference. Thank you all so much. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to put a good, let me try to get this out of the way. I'm going to put a good white base coat and I'm going to use chalk paint. I've got some white chalk paint here and I'm just going to put this on here <clears throat> and that way it will be ready to go. Now, I want to tell y'all, my friend, Miss Emmy Zip. Uh, who watches on here on occasion she she gave me this she made this and sent this to me and um, I've been I've had it for a little while but I've been trying to really settle on what I wanted to do and then it kind of came to me uh, just in the last few days because I am getting ready to move and I wanted to have something that would talk or kind of indicate my my home state and then my new home state, which my home state is Kentucky. And I am moving to Alabama, you guys. 
my daughter and son-in-law live there and my two little granddaughters and I am going to um, be close to them and help them when they need help. And it's just, uh, I'm just so excited. I just can't even hardly stand it. Thank you, Tabitha. My friend, Emmy, I'm hoping, I told her I was going to come live tonight and um, work on this project that she cut out. She's got a little business and I hope she pops in here and she will share her link because it sounds like her little business, she and her husband run, they do all kinds of stuff. So I am hoping she'll join us tonight. If she's like some of us, she may have a very busy weekend going on. Got a little bit of thickness right there. I want to try to scoop off. And right here, try to get that off and keep a good, nice surface going. So Beth, I did not. Hi, Janice. How are you? I did not get to finish watching your live. I had to do a couple of other things. So I'm, I'm going to go back and watch the replay. But I hope your screen project turned out great. I'm sure it did. But I knew you mentioned you had never painted on a screen before. Um, so I'm, I'm anxious to see how it all came together. And listen, if any of... I, well, hey, Chasida. Hey, Tabitha. Um, oh, you're replying to someone. So sorry. <laughs> You guys, the way it comes through, it's hard to tell sometimes. But listen, if you're a creative hopping on here and looking and watching, drop your business link. I invite you to uh, share with everyone what you're about, what you do, and let them check you out. Because you guys are amazing. I just am so blessed to have so many very talented crafting friends. So I'm just going to start with uh, putting in a good base of white chalk paint on here. I'm not going to worry about a whole lot of detail except just making sure I've got a good foundation going. And I'm going to dry it. It's going to dry pretty quick. Just don't want any wood to show necessarily. Okay. And let me get this paint um, off just a little bit. I've got some dishwashing liquid right here I want to put on this and kind of get it cleaned up I'm gonna stick it in some water I was telling my uh, workshop this afternoon that I've been thinking about when I when I get my new studio in my new house how I want to arrange everything Tabitha's almost to 400 followers that's awesome congratulations girl I remember it was a uh, very, very slow growth for me. And then one day it just kind of started go taking off a little bit better and it comes in spurts, but you just have to keep showing up. You just got to keep showing up, girl. All right, let's see here. Let me back up through here. I want to make sure I'm not missing any comments. All right, I think we're good. Okay, let me get my little heat tool my heat gun let's dry this a little bit and we're going to start laying in some uh, patterns and lines of how we're going to paint this because I really want that look of a wavy flag hey Leah how are you my friend get this nice and dry that way when I get ready to lay in my pencil it will not drag through the paint, but it'll maybe give me some guides here. So what's everybody been doing today? Did you grill? Did you just take it easy on this Labor Day? After my kids left, I had to do the dishes because I cooked breakfast this morning for everyone. And um, I had to get that cleaned up and pick up around the house a little bit and just I had to take a break I had to rest in I had gotten up about six o'clock this morning and started with frying the bacon and getting everything going we, I did a good old country breakfast of uh, bacon eggs scrambled eggs and um, biscuits and gravy so I had to get all that cleaned up I'm trying to tilt this so I can see if it's dry I think it's going to be dry enough that I can kind of at least lightly sketch in what I want to do. 
So if you're just joining me, I have this picture that I'm going to use as a reference. I'm not going to transfer this image or trace it because it doesn't fit exactly, but I'm going to look at it and just try to recreate some of the folds and stuff. Um, I'm going to kind of base in my blue for the stars and stripes, my blue section for the stars, I should say. And then we've got some folds going on. Let's say kind of like this. We probably got a fold right through here, a small one right through here. We've got some folding going on through here and a little bit through here, um, which is going to affect how everything lays. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is try to kind of base in my stripes. And I did drag through some paint through there that didn't um, dry it totally great. Sometimes it just has to kind of sit and, and cure. And I've got some of these lines drawn and then some of it we're just going to wing. Okay. Your hubby got a new sink up and running. Oh, in your craft room. That's perfect. Boy, that is wonderful. All right. So I'm going to just try to follow some of these waves. Well, hey, Winifred, how are you? And just kind of follow this pattern of the waves. And it can be, a lot of this is going to come when we start laying in the shadows in the paint. And that's going to kind of be the interesting thing. So I'm going to start over here. Nothing's going to be straight. It's going to be kind of wavy. And I want to point out some things to you too. We're just getting a general idea of where some of these stripes are going to be. Okay. All right. So I know this is very light. And you can't see all that great, but the, the pencil marks are there. One thing I want to show you real quick is if you'll notice where you have these folds, you have areas of brightness and areas of shadow. The shadow is what's really going to accentuate those folds, okay? So that's what we're going to focus on. Um, I'm going to go ahead and base in this blue area, and there's even shadow in there. So we're going to lay that in before we lay in our stars. Um, I want to use, oh, I need a little palette too. I forgot to get that out. Do that real quick. All right. Now I've got some blue. It's a, that one is kind of a, I'm going to use this navy blue and then I'm going to mix I really like this true, this real blue, but it's a gloss and I don't want to use a gloss. So I'm kind of changing that up. Um, I'm going to use some navy. I might need to buy some more. There'll probably be enough for what we want to do. I'm going to pull onto my palette some white. Because you know me, I like to mix some colors. I'm going to go ahead and Put some black on here. So we're going to be mixing all this up. All right. I need. Get this off. I want to be sure and get my brush that I just used nice and clean. So it can be drying a little bit. Okay. I need a medium flat brush. I think I'm going to use this one right here. This is what I call a large flat brush, and I really want to use a medium. No more going up and down the stairs to clean. Oh, girl, yes. That'll be wonderful. I'll rearrange my paints just a little bit so I can get this to where I can reach it a little bit better. And y'all can still see. I've got ideas on how to make um, 
I need just to pull over this way a little bit. Let's do this right here. That'll help me a lot. Um, I'm going to get build me a studio desk that's going to be much better for my lives. I got a little bit of glump right there. Let's get that off. Um, and my work surface be a little bigger than this table. Because sometimes I just flat run out of room. All right. I'm just kind of creating my outline right now. And I'm going to use the very tip of my brush. Just kind of give me a straight edge right through here. And it's going to take a couple of coats. So we're just going to lay this in. We're going to let that dry. And I'm going to work on another color while that's kind of drying. Sometimes it's better not to use a heat gun. I mean, if you're really in a big hurry, you can, no doubt. Or blow dry or something like that. Sometimes it's good just to let it cure. And then go to your next coat. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go to the next. I'm going to lay in my red while this kind of dries. Okay. Yeah, we'll definitely have to have another coat. So we're just going to let that sit for a minute. Let me clean my brush off. I'm going to get some red going. It's going to be pretty though, isn't it? Oh, I love this color. Hi, Miss Frances. I'm so glad you're here, girl. Isn't that a beautiful color? All right. Let's get some red. Um, I'm trying to think. I have a couple of options. I really think. Well, how about this? Let's just use this flag red. I need my scissors. This is brand new. I've never used this. I have to break the seal. This is an apple barrel color. That blue that I just used, um, where did I set it? It's a navy blue by Nita's. Shake it up. Let's get some of this going. Oh, yes. I love it already. I can tell. All right. Now, as I'm putting this down, I want to keep in mind, I don't really want straight lines. I want to keep it kind of loose. So I'm going to start my edge like so and then pull it on out. It'll probably take a couple of layers too. There we go. I'm going to do this. I'm going to try to get close to this navy. And then just kind of pull it out. Letting my bristles be the edge of that too. Trying to get nice and close without bleeding over too much. Let's just create this outline. And pull the paint down. So we don't have all these um, mountains. Well, hey, Char. How are you, my friend? I'm so glad to see you. Thank you for popping on here, girl. Listen, I have asked my creative friends on here to please drop your link. I invite you to drop your link. Um, and Miss Char, she is one of the most talented people I've ever met. Of course, so many of my crafting sisters on here are extremely talented. They just amaze me with their creations. So if you guys haven't signed up for my chapel window series, where uh, the first one is called Pray, Praying for Autumn, and it is a chapel window, and we're going to put some autumn um, leaves and a tree all around this window. I'll show you what we did so far. Kind of give you a sneak peek. Look here. I've got it right here. Let me slide this over so you can see. 
So this is what we accomplished today. All right, our stained glass window with the background of the chapel. And I'm loving the shading on that on that vinyl siding or shiplap siding. And then we've got going to have some autumn going on. The window's not finished. We've got some special effects to do there. But that kind of gives you an idea of what we're doing in the workshop. So if you'd like to be a part of that, we sure would love to have you with us. So check it out. So what I'm doing is one of my friends that one of my viewers sent me this cutout. She and her husband have this little business going on. Um, and she sent me this United States cutout. And I finally decided how I want to paint this up. I really wanted the look of a flowy, wavy flag. And I'm going to put on here the outline of my home state, which is Kentucky. And the outline of my new home state, which is Alabama. And connect it all together because those are my loves. My, my kiddos and my family, my roots. So that's kind of where we're going with this little project. I want to kind of get up close to this navy area. This is a bright navy, by the way. I love it. It's beautiful. Want to see? Oh, yes, Michelle. Yes, it did. I put on a couple of more layers, too. Make sure I get this in the camera for y'all. I'm sorry. It kind of slid around and I was moving it around. And um, got out of view, didn't I? We're going to need to put another coat of this red in here, too. Okay. I love the look of a flag waving the the stripes. Everything's not straight. It's in motion. That's a really good way to consider it. It's in motion. Got a little clump right there. I'm going to try to get that off. Scoop it off. Put it over here to the side. And you know, this is a brand new bottle, but it just happens. These little clumps just happen. Thank you, Francis. Yes, I really love having uh, things in motion. So it means that you're not going to have straight lines. And then we're going to incorporate some shadows to help give this some realism. And um, bring it to life. So you're going to have areas that are thicker. And you're going to have areas that are going to be thinner. Oh, thank you, Michelle. Thank you, girl. Tell me, what have y'all been doing today? Talk to me about what what has made Labor Day good for you. Um, I kind of told y'all I, I cooked a big country breakfast this morning for my kids before they got on the road. And then uh, my son-in-law's parents that are some of my best friends came and we all had breakfast together before they had to leave. Now, I'll say this. As I am going through here, um, where my pencil marks are, I've kind of deviated a little bit. And that just happens with how the paint lays, the how it kind of seems when I start uh, laying in the stripes and y'all I like for things to not be entirely even and perfect like I'm leaving a white tip right there all right now let's go back to our navy up here and let's put another coat on that 
Tabitha made a few more crafts. Your first craft book booth. Girl, I did one of those one time. And it was at a local elementary school. I even bought a um, tent, I guess you call it, the little covering thing. Hauled my stuff up there. It was so much work. I thought, well, I don't think this is for me. But I don't think that's something that you never know until you experience it, until you give it a whirl. And I didn't make anything. I don't know. Um, if, if I had made some sales, it probably would have been worth it. But, and that's been a couple of years ago. It was before COVID when I did it. All right. So I'm going to be very easy going through here and meeting up with the red. I want to hang this probably... I'm not entirely sure because I'm not going to hang it just like this. I'm going to put it on a surface. I don't entirely know what. Um, I may look around our farm and see if I can find something to mount it on from the farm just to give it some nostalgia and meaning uh, since I'm moving. Oh, isn't that a pretty color? It's a very rich color. Michelle had company over for dinner tonight. A good friend of yours. Other than that, we cleaned and did laundry. You know, this morning we got up and it was really, really cool outside. All right, let's put in some more um, of this red. I need to get some more paint on my plate. I really want this to be a really rich color. It gets a little tricky when you get close to the edge like that, but make it work. So has anybody started Christmas shopping? I've been seeing these posts this weekend of how many weeks until Christmas. I think it's like 16. Does that stress y'all out kind of like it stresses me out? I'm thinking, oh my goodness. Um, I, I just, with moving and trying to sell my house, I haven't been able to mentally go there. But I know a lot of people start really early. And honestly, I have in the past started this early with Christmas shopping, but um, I have not this year, not with everything else I have going on. Michelle said it's supposed to be 64 there in the morning. You're going to plan to have your coffee. Oh, that sounds wonderful. So Tabitha, you've started Christmas shopping. Girl. You're ahead of the game. Not me. I just, well, I don't even know where to start. I'm saving my money for Christmas for shopping. But, um, and I kind of do that all year long. I put money back every pay period or every month for Christmas. I don't do a Christmas club or anything. I just do it on my own. budget for it. So yes, we are putting waves here. I want things to be very uneven, very um, flowy and wavy. And I've splattered some of this red, so I'm going to have to make those corrections, which should not be a problem. You may not even be able to see the splatters, but I can. So I want to be sure and fix those. So 
Michelle only buys for her nieces and nephews, and you don't start until October. Tabitha starts the day after Christmas. Girl, that's kind of smart because there are things on sale. I just can't think that far ahead. It's kind of like a mental block for me. I have not a clue. And plus, if I were to buy clothes and stuff, I never know for sure the sizes. Like for my granddaughters, it's always a guessing game. We try to buy things on sale, guessing at what their size is going to be for the next season. It's just hard. All right, we're getting closer, y'all. We can. I need to go back in with a little bit of white and um, work on those stripes, the white stripes. I want to true this edge right there. Okay, I'm going to let that sit. I'm going to go ahead and work on my white stripes. Tabitha's a bargain chopper girl. I admire you. Um, there is a knack to that, and I don't have that knack. So I'm very impressed that you have that knack. I wish I was more. I mean, I look for sales. I try to find the best price, but I'm not the best at um, finding those bargains. Okay, so my, my white that I've got here is getting a little thick, so I just got a little bit of moisture on my, my brush just to kind of thin it down a little bit and reactivate it. And... I'm going to just kind of go over these white areas and just kind of touch up really where I had the pencil marks just to kind of conceal those. And that's another reason why you want to do those really light. Oh, I forgot my red stripes up through here. What was I thinking? I have to get those done. Wasn't thinking, I wasn't paying attention. I was concentrating on these bigger areas. And I'm mainly just touching up. I don't have to worry about doing a ton of painting through here. Just covering up the pencil marks that I created just to kind of get an idea of where I want, wanted the waves to be. Had a little section of red to splatter right there. I want to cover it up. And while I do this, it's giving the red and the navy some time to dry well and cure a little bit. And maybe some little areas through here where I didn't get a good covering of the wood. Okay, so we're going to let that dry. Probably need to do a little bit more to kind of cover up um, those pencil marks a little bit more. But we can at least go back. I need to come up here. Let me see if I can slide this some more. And how did I forget my red stripes there, you guys? How did I do that? I don't know. So let's just take care of that problem right now. We need to put a red stripe through here. And carry it over here.
And we want to put a red stripe kind of through here. And I'm probably going to have to dry those. Let me do that real quick. So if you guys would please, please, I, I ask you if you would please paint the blessings so your friends can know about my page and um this week i've kind of got a plan on different things we're going to do i've got some neat projects that i've got planned out for the week so i would love for your friends to jump on here with us and we're going to do a little of a little bit of everything i kind of came up with a new idea on decorating a plate that I'm really excited and to show y'all and you're never going to guess because uh, I've never seen it done. So I want to try, let's say, probably try to do that. Y'all, I'm kind of messed up. When we have these wonderful holiday weeks, it just kind of messes with my mind a little bit and I have to think really hard about what day it is. So I will probably, I, have to, I will be on Craft Around the Clock Wednesday morning. So about 7.30, I'll probably do that plate thing that morning. I think I'm on at 7.30. I'm going to do some beaded garland stuff. Um, and I've kind of designated this week to be my candy corn theme week. I've decided I'm going to try doing themes. So everything's going to be in candy corn colors and uh candy corn objects and y'all were even gonna do a little bit of sewing i just was thinking about it. i thought i really want to take y'all over to my sewing machine i have not done anything like that so i'm going to try to get my camera set up for some sewing so even if you don't sew you might decide hmm, i might like to try that and if not that's okay you can still watch well, we're going to give that a whirl and see what y'all think about that do some little bit of different things and gonna use some felt i don't know y'all i just got all kinds of ideas i've got everything written down kind of how i'm gonna do it i'm just touching up right now just in some sections where i feel like it just needs a little bit more paint just a little bit of touch up sounds yummy oh yeah, I'm not, I mean, I like candy corn okay, but I really love the colors. For me, it's all about the colors. And I, when I start thinking about what are the things that say fall to me, that's kind of where I started. I made a list and then I decided I would create items that kind of went along with that. need to touch up right over here I might be off the camera a little bit kind of got um, a little bit of bleed over so I'm going to fix that real quick had a little bit of red to splatter over on the navy also I want to I touch that up so what do you think so far I really love these colors I'll touch up this red. I need to touch up right through here. Sometimes the brush just gets away with from you and it just kind of takes a life of its own. And I had a little bit of a ridge of paint I was trying to smooth out. And that's kind of what happened right through here. So we're just going to kind of fix that. It's all going to be good for it said and done, though. And just blend it on out. I'm going to let that dry a little bit and we might touch it up some more. We'll just see what it needs as we go along. I think that might have even been a little spot where maybe the original chalk paint in the surface didn't uh, dry as great. 
Oh, hi, Rhonda. Where have you been, sister? I've missed you too, girl. I am so glad to see you on here. Thank you, Tabitha and Rena, my friends. Okay. All right. So now we're ready to create a little bit of shadow in this. And the way we're going to do this, I'm going to get a second palette going. Well, no, I'm okay. We're going to leave it like this. So I've got my, my brush clean. And black is a very strong color. So I'm going to put a little bit of black over here in this red. And it's going to gray it up. And that's what we're going to use to create our shadow effects. I'm trying to dilute it a little bit to get that tone. I don't want it too dark. I want to still see like, I want it to be kind of a gray red color. Okay. See the difference? See if I can get this close enough, but it's kind of a gray red. That's kind of a marriage between the two. Okay. What I want to do is kind of think about where are my valleys. So I kind of see a valley right through here and I'm just going to put a little bit of this gray red right through here and I'm just going to put a little band of it I need a dry brush I'm going to come over here to see I don't want that one and I'm going to get a dry brush and I'm just going to blend this out get a little bit of water on my brush I don't want it to be super saturated and it's going to take a little bit of work to get this right how I want it to be but we're going to get there and we're just going to go back and forth putting in this red gray color And when I get close to the edges, I'm holding my brush up a little higher. Take my other brush and just blend it. And then we're going to add some lighter reds. It's going to really help accentuate that also. Thank you, my friend Rhonda. And thank you for painting the blessings too, my friend. All right. I'm going to carry this kind of valley color. Up into here. And take my dry brush and just blend. And you know, it's going to get kind of crazy, but we're going to touch up and really um, get all this fine tuned. And it's kind of a layering process. So um, it's going to take a little bit of doing and you just got to be patient. You get a little bit of this true red. I'm going to kind of tone this down. I'll put it straight on there. It's almost like it's blending straight on the surface. I'm actually going now. I'll, let me show you this. I'm going to take some of this red and I'm going to tone it down with some white. I know it's going to go pink on me a little bit, but I'm really looking for some highlight. Okay. And I want that highlight in the peak right here. I'm just going to touch it in and then blend it. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm just being very light with it. We'll get some of this true red and blend it into it.
You just got to be patient with it and work it in. Okay. Pick up some more of this gray or black red, gray, grayed out red, since that's kind of had a minute to kind of sit. I like that. Can y'all see that? There's Emmy. Emmy, you got to put your link in here, girl. I've been telling them about you. That you sent me this little jewel. So I'm going to add another peak of this light color. Because you got to think about how light hits. And that's what I'm going for. What do you think, Emmy? Oh, yay. Glad you like it, girl. Doing the peaks and the valleys. I'm going to add some red, the true red in here, get it blended. Because I don't want it too black. There's a certain blend that I'm trying to get in there. Getting uh, my bristles kind of got away from me there a little bit. So we'll have to touch that up. Get this over here. I keep moving my little plate around. I want a little more true red right through here. I think um, my paint is trying to dry out on me as part of it. So I'm going to get a little bit of moisture on my brush. I'm going to add that right through here, and that's going to help. Water is the secret, you guys. Get some more water going for this darker color. I am switching back and forth between two brushes. One for dark and one for light. I'm going to have to touch up. I'm sure my fan over here is not helping matters, but I got to have my fan. So let me go ahead and touch up this white, this edge. I got to kind of touch up some more of that pencil mark anyway. Now, even on the white stripes, there's gray involved. So this will take a little while to do, and we're not going to uh, spend the entire night. But I mainly want you all to see kind of how to create those ebbs and flows in the stripes. You can kind of see the dark and the lights that are kind of accentuating that stripe. Um, and that's the main thing. Clean my brush real quick, real quick. This white one that I just did. Okay. I'm going to pick up some true red and add that back in here. I'm 
whoops, see, I got into the white. It's so easy to do. So, so Emmy says, I was going to try to do whatever you do to yours, but girl, I think I'm going to have to stick to mod podging a napkin on yours. <laughs> you can, Emmy, you can do it, my friend. Yes, you can. I have no doubt whatsoever. Whatsoever. Need some more moisture on my brush. Not too much, but some. And I just want to blend right in through here. I may have to just let this sit and come back to it. Just may have a lot of fluid and um, paint that just needs to cure. Sometimes you just got to let it sit and come back to it. Okay, so this is going to be the process. It's going to take a long time, and we may have to do this over a couple of nights, but I think it's going to be gorgeous. I think it's going to be gorgeous. All right, I got to be careful, which that's the dark brush. So let me go up here into this area and blend this valley because we got a little dip in through there. Okay, and I want to put in a valley right through here. And I want to add my peak back in. Okay, I'm feeling a ripple right through here, so I'm going to pick up my dark, and I need a valley tone right through here. I'm going to pick up some true red. And we're going to add that back in right through here to blend. And I want to put a peak right through here. Got a little bit of um, splatter of navy right there. I need to touch up. Have one a little bit of red right there too. So, what do you think? How does that look for a ripple effect? Kind of the peaks and the valleys. So, one thing I want to accentuate while I'm here. Clean this white off this brush. Um, I'm going to pick up just a little bit of really black. And right in the middle of that valley, I'm going to put a line. And then I'm going to pull it out both directions because that's the depth. And it's really, really dark. So I'm going to add red. It's like it's that's the fold. And I want it to be pretty thin right through there.
and just pull it on out. Very lightly touch up. The blending thing is the biggest challenge uh, to get just the right effect. So we may have to just let this be, come back, like I said that a while ago, and then put our highlights back in. But I keep working to try to achieve what I'm seeing in my mind. hard when you see something in your mind and you're trying to get it onto the surface it doesn't always want to cooperate oh you know it's just going to be a steady as she goes kind of thing Winifred I'm telling you but I do think it's going to be amazing so I will work on this in between but I'm going to keep y'all in here with me um, along the way to show you the progress. But this is kind of what my heart has been saying for this project. And we'll just come back tomorrow. I'm going to keep working on it though. And we'll come back tomorrow and I'll show you what we accomplished. And then we'll work on it some more together. Does that sound like a plan? And I've got some other things that I want us to explore and do also. Got lots to do, y'all. Lots to do. All right. So we've been on here together just right at an hour. I'm not going to keep y'all any longer. Um but this is going to really be a neat, neat project. All right, friends, I'm going to sign off for tonight and chillax a little bit, try to call it an evening. I've got some orders to ship out tomorrow, so I'm going to work on those in the morning. Need to do some other work and uh, let's do it, Winifred said. When, uh, Raina, yes, red is a challenge. Amy, you go right ahead, sister. You catch that replay. That's the magic and beauty of it, isn't it? I love it. Love it. All right, y'all. Let me flip over and get my face up here and just tell y'all good night, y'all. Thank you for joining me. I just love you guys so much. Thank you guys for being here. And um, I will be back on tomorrow evening is my plan. We will get this baby done, but I think it's going to be beautiful. So I look forward to seeing y'all. Have a wonderful restful evening. Have a wonderful day tomorrow. And I'll catch y'all very soon. Good night, guys. I love y'all. Bye.